when I first started out in this journey and my, my first training session, I was nervous. I felt a little intimidated. I, I have to design these from scratch. Well, first of all, I, I learned, no, I don't. There's a lot of pre-built things that instructors can alter and modify and, and make their own. So I, I felt a little reassured by that. And then once I got involved, I thought, I think I want to do this myself. It's not hard at all. It's actually a lot easier. And then my mind just kind of raced and I was like, no, I, yes, of course I'll design, but I can put this right in the hands of the students. And I have always found it my 11 years of teaching that students learn better from each other than they do from any instructor, something that they can explain to each other. They can say it in ways that they get And I can explain something three or four different ways, but if they can start building these themselves, that would be great. And you know what? It's simple enough. There's not an extra special course or degree or certificate you need. It's very user-friendly. And I think that's what impressed me the most is I see huge applicability across all of our sciences. And as you see here, the basically the image is being pulled apart. You're removing the organelles from the cell and the instructor can single out specific organelles, isolating them from the actual cell. That's going to allow really deep conversation in each area. So the students are not just going to be lectured at with a PowerPoint, you know, from a kind of a static standpoint. In this sense, the students are going to be able to be interactive, especially if they have this module in front of them. They can, you know, use the tools that we've provided to pull apart the organelles while the instructor is discussing. Plus, the instructor also then has the option to pause and implement some of the other really kind of fun tools. Like you see here, this is a quiz. What's on the screen here? This is a mitochondria. So the students will have just talked about it. Now it's being isolated from the cell. And the students are going to have to understand what it is inside and outside of the biological media. This is a great way to keep the students engaged. Creating this lesson, since we were learning as instructors how to build at this moment, is I want to start out with something fundamental. Um, I started with the cell because that's the fir- one of the first things we teach in our basic anatomy course. You got to start at the beginning before you dive too deep into the body. So I wanted to be familiar with this as, you know, we began learning because we want our students to, A, have a good takeaway from this, but eventually I'd like to see the students try to, you know, build their own lessons in class as well. I think that there's an old adage, you can learn something, uh, then you do something, and then you try to teach something, and that really shows if you know it. So that was kind of my goal here, to try to set up a real basic cell to maybe use as a scaffolding for students.